Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the HTML data list element to provide uh, suggestions for input fields. So, as we can see right here, I have a plain old text input. And if I was to go inside here, we can see that I have three options which are set by the actual HTML for this web page for me to choose from. As we can see, I can go down here and I can select, for example, dark green, and it's working perfectly fine. But as I said, this is a input field with a type of text. It is not an actual dropdown. What's also good about this is that if I was to backspace here to just the dark section, we can see that it filters the options based on what you enter. So now we're going to get dark blue and then dark green. So I'll be showing you how to do this in this video. It's very easy to do with HTML. So inside this tab right here, let's go inside the HTML for this page. As we can see, it looks something like this. So first, uh, let's make a label for the actual text. So for example, we can say label for my color. As an example, inside here, we can say enter a color. So once again, this is suggesting to the user, this is going to be an actual text field and not a drop down. If it was a drop down, maybe it would say choose a color instead. Um, anyway, let's go down here now and also make an input with a type of text, of course, just like this. And for the name and ID, I can just say my color and then my color. And now below here, uh, this is where the data list element comes into play. So we can say uh, data list just like this and give it an ID. For example, let's say color list, just like that. So now inside here, this is where you put all of the options which you're going to make available for your user to actually choose from. And this ID plays an important part into actually connecting it to the input field. So the way we actually connect the input field to the data list, we say right here, as an attribute list is equal to and then color list. So now it's going to look for the data list with the ID of color list, which of course is this one right here. And it's going to be using these options inside here, which we're going to define right now to actually show as suggestions. So let's say for example, we can say option just like this and we can say dark blue. We can then say dark green and then we can say uh, for example, Let's just go with red, okay? So now saving this and refreshing is going to give us the desired result. As we can see here, we can obviously go inside here and we have those three options to choose from. And obviously, uh, these options here uh, come directly from the HTML. So this is not a result of the browser, uh, you know, uh, looking at previous entries. This is purely from the HTML. And I did forget to mention that we can actually still uh, go inside here and type in, for example, pink, and that's still perfectly valid. It is still going to submit, but these are simply just suggestions for the user. Now, I do want to mention one more thing. Uh, let's go back inside here and let's actually assign a value uh, attribute to each one of these options. So now we can say value inside here. We're going to be placing the hexadecimal uh, color code for each one of these colors. Okay, so for dark blue, I believe it is going to be something like 000. Actually, I might just reference the previous page. Uh, let's get the actual color here. Um, you know what? I don't even have it. Let's just put a random color. You know what? Let's make this blue because I can't remember what dark blue is. So, blue that is going to be RGB, so 000 0FF. Dark green is going to be 006400 and red is going to be, of course, uh, FF0000. So now placing these values inside each one of these options and then saving and then refreshing gives us a slightly different result. As we can see now, the actual hexadecimal values are being presented as the actual value, whereas now the blue dark green string or text is actually just a sort of like a summary or more of a description of what the actual value represents. So now pressing on this is going to give us the actual hexadecimal value instead. And I saw an example online of the usage of the data list and they actually used this feature right here um, to convert countries into country codes instead of simply just the country string. So that right there is how to use the HTML data list element. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.